National Educator. Hello, Lana. Welcome to today, uh, our today's uh, topic in physics form 3 is uh, el current electricity. We are going to study in the subtopic current and potential difference in electric circuit. Welcome. By the end of the lesson, you should be able to do the following. You should be able to define current and state the SI units. You should be able to define potential difference and state its SI units. You should be able to measure current and potential difference in a circuit. And finally, you should be able to verify Ohm's law. So welcome, let's start. I want you to uh, just think about this. Why is it that when we, you connect a battery, a conductor, that is a wire, and a bulb, the bulb lights up? Why? I want you to think about that and give suggestions to yourself to confirm what you've thought about. Maybe the possible answers could be one, electricity or current flows. I believe your answer was within that range. Yeah? So let's continue. There is something that you must have mentioned that is called current. Remember in current electricity one, you defined current. So in order for us to understand this more at this level, I want us to do or to observe one or two activities so that we can be able to understand exactly what current is. To answer this question, let us first see what is happening here. So I want you to look at, uh, we are going to have a, what is called construction of an AC on a, on a circuit. Eh? Uh, you are aware of a circuit. And um, let's just uh, see how. I've already constructed it for you. So we can connect it that way. We have a switch. And finally, what would happen when we close the switch? Yes, so let's see, sorry. Let's see what would happen. So, we have the switch, you have the conductor and the battery and the bulb, and the cell is down there, and then uh, we are going to close the circuit. So let's see how the circuit is closed. So first of all, you can be able to see a representation of what is called electrons. So when this, uh, it was turned on, um, you can see the flow of electrons. Which direction is the flow of electrons? Electrons flows from negative to positive because the negative terminal has got more electrons. So they move from that negative terminal to positive terminal. Then what happens? Current now flows in the opposite direction. We call it convectional current. So as electrons move from negative to positive, current move from positive to negative. So that is an electric circuit. And what is flowing there are the charges. So you can be able to see that there are six charges in one second. So the number of charges passing at a point in one second is called a current. So the current in that circuit 
is actually 6 amperes.